We're going to look at many of the visual enhancements within SOLIDWORKS 2006. A little bit of demo setup. You may want to change the view projection type before you do this demonstration. We're first going to look at the display pane. It's a great tool because it summarizes all the visual attributes of all components within an assembly. You can look at everything from color to texture to whether a component's hidden or shown and it's just a great way to quickly access that information. We also have the display state folder within the configuration manager. Each configuration can have its favorite visual settings where you can actually mix and match shading, wireframe transparency. It's just a really nice tool. Note that the display pane is also a quick interface for you to change visual attributes. So not only does it help you manage, it actually helps you get a model to look the way you desire. It's a fast interface. Another thing that I really like is the fact that the display states are easy to drag between configurations. This is going to simplify how SOLIDWORKS uh, handles data. You can now use configurations for geometric changes in parts and use your display states to control all your favorite visual attributes. The display states can be used while you're editing parts. They can be used in explode views as well. It's just a great, great tool. It's going to enhance the sim simplicity of our interface. Let's go to a part and actually show you what the display pane looks like at the part level. At the part level, it actually controls color. It actually shows you the color, and again, it's a quick interface for you to change color of different uh, features. We also added appearance callouts. Now as you pick any surface, any face, you actually get the color and texture, the visual hierarchy of that. Here you can see I have face color, part color, as well as a feature color, and it's easy for me to quickly remove or add colors and get the part to look the way I, I believe it should. So it's a, it's a quick interface and it lets you, gives you a lot of feedback so you understand your color hierarchies. Now let me hide this component and I'll show you some of the graphic area enhancements we've done. Number one is we've added a quick uh, tab to let you go to multiple views, but we've also incorporated a technology called link views. If I pan or zoom in one view, the other views stay true in scale and position. It's, uh, it gives you a better visualization of the data. The isometric view is not linked, but I can quickly change to a single view and show you some of the new selection tools that we have as well. We've improved control select and shift select shift window select. It now uh, adheres more to the Microsoft standards. We've also incorporated a right mouse button inverse select where we can actually select all the other geometry and do things like quickly hide the other geometry. So you window select an area, inverse select, and, and you're able to um, concentrate on the original geometry. We've even improved window select within the feature tray so it's easier to select multiple items. Not bad. A lot of display enhancements. The bottom line, it's, it's something people are going to use every day. It's going to make SOLIDWORKS uh, much easier to use and save a lot of time.